True or false, every ratio of polynomial functions has vertical asymptotes. Now, a ratio of polynomial functions is just one polynomial divided by another polynomial. So this right here is a ratio of polynomial functions. This does have a vertical asymptote. So it's a fair question. A lot of ratios of polynomial functions do have vertical asymptotes. In this example, our vertical asymptote occurs when x equals negative 5. That's when the denominator would be 0 and the numerator is not 0 at the same time. But there are a couple of cases where a ratio of polynomial functions does not give you a vertical asymptote. I'm just making up numerators here. This x squared plus 5 could be an x, or you could make it whatever you want. But this is a ratio of polynomial functions. But you'll notice that the denominator is never 0, at least for real values of x. So we get that there are no vertical asymptotes with this particular function. So that does make the answer to this question false. But there's still another example of a ratio of polynomial functions that doesn't have a vertical asymptote. Take this rational function, for example. It sure looks like there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. But what you'll notice, if you plug in x equals 3 to the numerator, you also get 0. So what you'd have to do to investigate this function further is you'd have to factor the numerator and you would cancel the factors of x minus 3 giving you just a line that looks like y equals x plus 1. The only difference being we had what we call a removable discontinuity and that shows up as a hole in the graph at x equals 3. A hole in a graph is not an asymptote so this is an example of a ratio of polynomial functions that also doesn't have a vertical asymptote. Okay I think that answers the question.